Okay, here we are looking at a suspected case of European foul brood. Uh, the beekeeper's found some unnaturally looking lava and he's called me out and here we are looking at the frame. Now EFB is caused by a bacteria, Melisococcus plutonius, and it's shown classic signs of EFB this frame. If you look into the cells you've got twisted lava lying unnaturally in the cell. They're looking melted down. The lava are discolouring and it looks like early stages of EFB. We've got uh, perforated cappings as well. EFB usually affects the unsealed brood. Um, the history of this nuke is that it was made about six weeks ago. The bees have obviously, the flying bees have gone back to their parents' hive, so this colony's been under stress. We're on an oilseed rate field which finished a week or so ago, so there may be short of pollen. And it also smells quite a bit. I'm just going to turn this one over and see what's on the other side. Keep it running and we'll just get the other frame out. If you can. Mm -hmm. That's classic. So here again we've got a lot of uh, unsealed brood. The larva is dead twisted, discolouring and I would say this is EFB but we have to confirm it with a lateral flow device or in the lab so what we're going to do is notify the bee inspectors uh, and they'll come out and double check for us. We are now to impose a self-imposed standstill order on this apron so nothing's going to come in or out. Yep. Uh, can you see the twisted lava here? Get right down, get it on top. So twisted, leave it in an angle, like that. Around here. Melted down lava. The smell also comes from secondary infections that, uh, that, that break out with EFB. It's considered to be endemic in a lot of beehives, but it's caused on by stress. And also, uh, the rest of the bees look quite healthy. It can normally clear up, but the bee inspector will come out and assess the situation. The usual practice in Scotland is to carry out a shook swarm. If it's badly infected, it'll be destroyed. And the standstill notice order will last for about for eight weeks. Look at that classic uh, melted down larva there, just right there in the... So there's not much more we can do apart from we've shown you it. It's the first time I've seen it in the hive. I've seen it on combs before. EFB is spread. It's brought on by stress, as I said. It's spread by the beekeeper transferring combs or other bits from various hives. It's spread by the beekeeper not disinfecting hive tools or other, in other tools and then going into other hives and moving combs into other hives, as I said. So best thing to do now is we're going to close it up, phone the bee inspector and see what action they take. Where's all the discolorings? Keep it going. Well that's about it. EFB, and if it's not I'll eat my hat. <laughs>